نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نور الله صلى الله تعالى عليك وسلم قال الله عز وجل في القرآن الكريم أفمن شرح الله صدره للإسلام فهو على نور من ربه صدق الله العظيم My dear Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's beloved devotees We understand and know very well that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He has formed our entire existence for his worship, for his ibadah We know this but yet we still neglect our duty of worshipping him as sawajal We need to understand that the awliya, the friends of Allah Azza wa Jal, they would worship so much. They would worship so much and within their worship, they would find passion and love for this ibadah. So after understanding this, we must question ourselves and ask, why is it that we are unable to do so much ibadah? Regarding this and to find the answer to this question, we must refer back to Quran al Karim and the Ahadith so that we may be able to build on our spiritual selves and correct our ways. We need to find the answer to the question why and how did the awliya Allah find passion and love and retain this passion and love within their ibadah? And why is it that we have laziness which in ourselves is the most, first and foremost, source of our neglect most of the time. For the servant to awake from this laziness, and the first and most important realization that will make the most difference is understanding that this order to worship, this order to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it has come from the heavens, it has come from the arsh. It is no typical order. It is not the normal type of order we see in our laborious lives. This order, it comes from a higher authority. This order has come from Allah Azza wa Jal and it has been mentioned in the Holy Quran. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives an opportunity to a person, to a slave, then that slave becomes the traveler and traverses the path towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this slave, this servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows him to, to traverse this path, then he comes to such a state in which he is willing to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Regarding this, it has been mentioned in the Holy Quran, the verse which I had the honor of reciting, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Afaman Sharahallahu Sadrahu lil Islam, Fahua ala nurim mir rabbi. So will he whose bosom, whose chest Allah has opened up for Islam, he is therefore upon a light, a nur from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his Lord. Meaning, if Allah ta'ala opens up a heart towards Islam, towards his ibadah, then this opening of this heart is such a great treasure and blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala such a great ni'mah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this bounty in and of itself is a bounty on, on the nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Regarding this, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he has also stated in his blessed hadith sharif, Inna nura idha dakhala al-qalb infasaha wa ansharaha. Indeed, when the nur enters the heart, it becomes pleasant and expansive. 
Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was then asked, O oh Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is there any sign by which we can recognize that our heart has been filled with nur? Is there any sign by which we can recognize such a person whose heart has been opened and filled with the nur? He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, yes, refraining from this dunya, the temporary abode, and having allurement towards the akhirah, the, the final destination, the final abode and the permanent abode, Jannah. And before death visits a person, he had been preparing for it. These are the signs that, uh, that a person's heart has been opened and filled with the nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts nur in a person's heart, then a sign of this nur is that the heart is opened up and through the nur placed within it, the heart becomes spacious and happy. And regarding its sign, the Prophet sallallahu said, is that the one to whom this occurs, he is not alert by this dunya, which is, play, which is a place of nothing but difficulty. So he barely has any love for this dunya in his heart. And he only tries for the dunya regarding that which is needed and necessary. He focuses most of his efforts towards the final abode, Jannah, heaven. And before death befalls a person, he is prepared for his meeting with his Lord Azzawajal. So my beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's beloved devotees, we have pre presented in front of you through the Quran and the Ahadith, the signs with which we can ask ourselves whether or not Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has opened up our chests and placed his nur within us. Today, it is sad to say that the situation is such that from the moment we wake up till the moment we sleep in our graves, dunya, 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 for the love of this only, for the love of the dunya only, do we live our entire lives. Whereas we are in reality nowhere near prepared for the akhirah. And regarding death, it is as though we have forgotten it altogether. We act as though death will never befall us at all. So I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he gives us the tawfiq to not only act upon what has been said, but live in this dunya and take only from it what is necessary and prepare for the hereafter and our death before it is too late. That is why Huzur Mufti Azam e Hind, he writes, रियाजत के यही दिन है बुरापे में कहा हिम्मत रियाजत के यही दिन है बुरापे जो कुछ करना है अभी कर लो अभी नूरी जवा तुम हो जो कुछ करना है अभी कर लो अभी नूरी जवान तुम हो the days for striving are these how will you have strength in old age the days for striving are these how will you have strength in old age Whatever you wish to do, do now, for now, O oh, Nuri, you are young. Huzur Mufti Azam Hind, he writes, Riyazat ke yahi din hai, burape me kaha himmat, 
जो कुछ करना है अभी कर लो अभी नूरी जवा तुम हो ही से इज द डेज फॉर स्ट्राइविंग अदीज हाउ विल यू हैव स्ट्रेंथ इन ओल्ड एज वट एवर यू विश टू डू डू नाउ फॉर नाउ ओ नूरी यंग यू वमा अलैना इल्लल बलाग अल मुबीन इट इज नॉट अपॉन अस अदर देन टू एडवाइज गुड टू यू अस्सलाम वालेकुम व रहमतुल्लाहि तआला व बरकातहू